Oops. Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're talking about the comparison of Wonder and Google Earth. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazius K, and today we're talking about the differences between Wonder and Google Earth. Because in one of the previous videos, you were asking me some questions as to what the differences were, and I also noted some questions on other social media platforms as to what indeed those differences are. So I thought, why not? Let's just make a video about it. Let's go. All right, let's start off with Wonder. Wonder basically enables you to travel all the world at Street View. When you load the app, which doesn't take too long, you'll see you'll be greeted in a random place, and automatically you'll see your menu at the front of you. And also you'll be able to see all around you in 360 degrees a picture of your surrounding. In order to move around, what you can do is you can look at the map, which is a 2D version, and just use your trigger to pan around the different locations. And then you can also use your left-hand side joystick up and down to zoom in and out of the map. And once you're comfortable with one of the locations you want to go to, simply click with your trigger and boom, you'll be transported into another part of the world, just like that. So the other thing that you can do is create custom tours, which is really awesome. So all you have to do is click on the folder icon at the top of the screen, name the file, whatever you want, and then save all the different locations at your heart's desire inside of it. So you can go back to it whenever you want. If you're not quite sure where to go and what to visit when you go to a specific location, there is a nearby button that you can press on and it will show you some featured places to visit options. So then you can just click on them and then directly you'll get teleported to those different featured places. You can also search locations using your voice and a whole bunch of other features. For more details on how to use this specific app, go to the link description below where I did a tutorial in the past of Wonder on the Oculus Go and Oculus Quest. The one feature on this app which really separates it from Google Earth, which I think is a really amazing tool to have, is the ability to create custom tours using multiplayer. So all you have to do is you can create a custom room, choose whether you want it to be public or whether you want it just to be for your friends only, so it's private, and then you can invite whoever you want into those rooms and go on a tour together. So I think this will be very useful for friends, family who want to go on holiday together, but also for companies if they want to do a custom tour for the customers or a hotel, for example. If their guests are going to the hotel, they could do a custom tour with a custom webinar and say, hey, you know, this is what the place looks like when you come down so you don't get lost. That's just one of many other ideas that can be used for this feature. All right, let's talk a little bit more about Google Earth and what differentiates it from Wonder. So Google Earth provides you the ability to travel all over around the world from your home or wherever you might be. Now, Wonder is available on the Oculus Go and on the Oculus Quest. Google Earth, however, is only available on the Oculus Link or Oculus Rift version. So you need to download the Oculus software onto your PC, use the Oculus Link or virtual desktop. However, for it to work on a virtual desktop, you will need to download the Steam version, not the Oculus version, as it won't be compatible. And also, there will be some differences in graphics. Do subscribe to the channel, as on Tuesday, I'll be talking about the differences between virtual desktop and Oculus Link using Google Earth. First up, Google Earth will launch much faster if you're using the Oculus Link and the Google Earth from the Oculus Store version. After Google Earth has launched, you'll see your touch controllers in front of you and it will basically tell you where the buttons are and what they do. You'll also be able to see the scenery and what's all around you. And the noticeable difference between Wonder and Google Earth already is that you're not at Street View. So the biggest difference between Google Earth and Wonder is the ability to fly. You'll be able to be like Superman and fly around the Earth at your heart's desire, the speed that you want. You can control the speed between going fast or slower, and you can go left or right using your controller just by pointing the various directions that you want. And you can even go as far into the universe and be amongst the stars as you glance down on the planet Earth. In the main menu, there are a certain number of things that you can do. First of all, there's like a featured section, which is basically editor's best pick. And you can just click and go through the list and see which ones you feel you want to go and visit. There are some noticeable differences in terms of graphics between Wonder on the Go and the Quest and Google Earth on Rift, Link and Virtual Desktop. In Wonder, it's all taken with a 360 camera, so everything is more or less flat and you're just immersed in the 360 environment. 
Touchpad in Google Earth, it's actually a 3D render of all these different images that have been stitched together. So it's really amazing when you're just floating in the air near one of the castles in Germany or in New York, Manhattan, and you just see everything in 3D in front of you. Quite an amazing feeling. There are some really wonderful Easter eggs in Google Earth, including when you reach one of the cities, you can press one of the buttons and boom, the Earth will turn flat. It really feels like when you're watching Inception, but instead of watching it, it feels like you're actually in it. Then what you can do is you can look at your orb on the left-hand side, touch controller on your hand, and it will be able to tell you whether it's Street View enabled. So very similarly to Wonders feature, all you have to do if they have Street View enabled for this specific location is bring the orb closer to your face and boom, just like in Harry Potter, you'll be teleported into Street View from the sky. You can then look around and similarly to Wonder, go on tours as well. And then when you want to go back to Sky View, all you have to do is either bring the orb away from your face or just click on the orb itself, which will exit you from Street View automatically. Now, if you're prone to motion sickness, there are a couple of things that you can do. First of all, go into the main menu, settings, and toggle on or off the music, which could help. The other thing is you'll notice there's a comfort mode. Now, by default, it's switched on. What this means is when you're flying around, you'll see an orb, and inside the orb, you see the landscape, and outside of it, some kind of calming effects. If you switch it off, then you'll see the entire landscape as you're flying around. Now, by default, when you're flying around, it's pretty slow. So if you want to accelerate your flight, all you have to do is press the trigger on your right-hand side controller, and then, voo, you'll go to warp speed. But do be aware that this could cause some motion sickness to those who are a bit sensitive. So perhaps just, you know, go slowly first and gradually increment the speed. Before I give you my final thoughts on whether you should get Wonder or whether you should stick with Google Earth if you have PC VR enabled, I just want to give a quick shout out to all those who went to watch one of the previous videos, which was all about virtual desktop, comparing it with Oculus Link using Fighting Clans. You guys are awesome. Remember that every Tuesday I'll be doing a video comparing Oculus Link with virtual desktop using various different apps. So do subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below so I can give you a shout out in the next video. Personally, if you're someone who likes to travel, explore the world, see new places, but you're not able to do it in real life or perhaps you're planning for such travel, then I definitely think the Wonder is a great app to get simply because it has the ability to go into multiplayer. So with other people, you could actually create some sideline income doing that as well with custom tours, not just having good fun with your friends and family. However, if you do have PC VR ability, then I definitely think you should get Google Earth. If you're not too bothered about multiplayer and all these kind of things, then there's no great need to get Wonder. But if you do want to have the ability to do multiplayer, get Wonder as well. I'd like to thank you for watching today's video. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I, together we can grow the community and help as many people in VR because ultimately that is what it's all about. And coming soon, we have the unboxing. I'm a bit stuck for ideas. What kind of video do you think I should do? Leave a comment below. All right, until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, Take it away! Woo.